Hey guys, back with another Arbor Magic Club video and tutorial. Uh, for this one, I will be teaching you some basic card false cuts and shuffles. Uh, so this is really useful for different tricks to force a card or, you know, to fake shuffle the deck. I'll talk about them in a little bit. Um, anyway, thank you to Dean Nicely for teaching us some of these. And also, of course, other famous, famous magicians that we don't even have to name, like Chris Ramsey or so. Uh, I guess you all know of him. But Dean Nicely, he's our friend. He hooked us up with a few paid gigs. Uh, go check him out. He's got an Instagram and, I believe, maybe a YouTube uh, channel. He's great. Um, also, he, he gave us these cards. They're called Monarchs. They are amazing. Go check them out. Look at the design. It's pretty cool. I'll show you the cards as well. Um, these are the cards I'll be using for today's video. They're really easy to fan. They're really smooth, really nice doing shuffles and so on. And also, they come with a pretty cool designer magician's card. This is um, pretty much the front and the back is a design. So it looks the exact same as this. Except here is an actual card. And this is a magician's best friend. can be used for so many tricks. We'll do more with it in the future, but for now, that's just an introduction to it. Anyway, these, these cards are awesome. I'll go ahead and show you. They fan out really, really well. They're very smooth, and they're great. Um, so here, here's how it looks. It looks pretty cool. Anyway, um, the design is awesome. The cards are just amazing. Definitely going to recommend those to you guys. Alright, so our trick here is really really simple actually but it looks pretty cool it's like a cardistry move all right that's a little false shuffle it's a series of cuts false cuts um which look pretty convincing and real as a series of cuts i'm sure if you focus on it i'm not the best at it but if you really focus on it you could see that i am just you know taking a few different packs of cards i'm just moving them around just to different uh, twirls and stuff. I'm sure you could get really, really good at it. Uh, I know you can. Dean nicely showed us. Uh, he's an amazing card magician. Always carrying a deck of cards around with him, and he showed us this. Uh, but it's a really, really smooth idea. Like you, get, you take them, take all the cards. You say you want to take that card. Okay, great. Here's your card. Look at it. Memorize it. Right. The eight of diamonds in this case. You're going to just put the eight of diamonds here. Now we're going to give it a series of cuts I've been working on. It's like a cardistry. Do you know what cardistry is? Go off on a little tangent for that. And then snap your finger and say, and your eight of diamonds remains on the top. Something like that. Um, if you have a starting deck order, you say, have you ever heard of uh, false shuffles? And you just go on. Uh, have you heard about cardistry? This is a move that I've been working on, a little technique. I can go like this and... It remains, with the snap of my fingers of magic, it remains in that starting deck order. And go ahead and fan them out or put them down and show them that it's all the same. So let's tell you about this one. And then we'll go over the triple false swing cut, which you can look up on other videos. Um, it's great. So this one is Dean, Li Dean Nicely's personal trick um, or false c cut. It's simply taking a pack with your pointer like that. Then swinging it over, grabbing it here. You don't want to really move this hand. Then you cut it again, this time you're taking the bottom card and you force it into your thumb, which gives a little space to take away with the top half, or top third. Now, you put your pointer at the corner here, and you turn it, whoops, and that keeps all the deck the same if you put the top back on. So you take the top, put it over there. The bottom, put it into your thumb, which gives you enough space to take that one away. Take the top, the corner, spin it over, put it down, and throw the top. So, I'm going to um, refer to them as top, middle, and bottom. So, top goes over, bottom, force it into your, uh, your left hand, take the top, middle, spiral over, anything kind of technique that you'd like to do, and then the top, throw it like that. So, when it's fast and perfect it looks like that go slowly with this um even going slow looks pretty convincing too especially if you're looking at it like this so it might look like this if i was performing it to somebody um it's pretty cool you're like take out any card as i said before that one okay or you could say tell me when to stop right there 
Okay, so that's your card here in this case. It's the what nine of clubs. Okay, that's your card We're gonna set it down right here. Okay, just to show you it's a nine of clubs. Nothing sneaky here uh, I'm just going to give it a series of cuts Just go ahead start talking about cardistry and everything and then say and if with a snap of my fingers And it'll rub here. Bam. Did you see it? Well, the nine of clubs remained on the top Something like that. All right, here's our second one I'll explain it. First, I'll show a little tutorial uh, and performance of it. So, it's a triple swing false cut, I believe. Uh, you cut like this. Just kind of giving it a few little cuts. And again, like that. Let me show you again. Make it more pretty. So, from here, it'd look like this. Once again. So a lot is going on here. It looks nicer with my hands out of the way. So if you were actually in front of me here, it'd look a whole lot nicer um, delivering this uh, cut. But it's really smooth. It's one of the first few I've ever learned. Um, you're really just cutting one part, swing it over, then cut the next, and take the bottom, put it there, take that one, then you want to swing that over, take the bottom again, swing it over one last time, then drop all of them. There are four stages to this, so just count in your head. One, two, three, four. Just taking the top, you know, swinging it over, the bottom swinging it over, taking the top, then you take the top over there. It's really just pretty simple, but it's pretty cool looking. If you can get it down, make it look really nice, just try to cut it with your pointer, swing it over to that end, grab it like this, and then reposition it, then cut it again. This time you're taking the bottom over there. The same thing about the spacing technique, pull away with it. Oops. Take the top here, swing over the top, take the bottom. Then, this one it's in your middle finger, so you want to pull it over to your pointer. Take the bottom again, take that top one, swing it over one last time, right? And if you swing it over one last time, then you have two packs here, and that's when you count to four, and you drop them all. It's literally four stages. It's pretty cool. Um, one last time for you guys. One, two, three, four. Right? The top, and then the top again, the top again, drop them all. So... Those are a few simple false cuts. Use those for your tricks uh, to convince somebody the deck is shuffled. Um, yeah, also, if we have a certain order, which we will be doing a tutorial and video of one of our most favorite tricks, um, the ones that we've been practicing the most for the longest and the best reactions come out of it, it is a certain order called Chased. We won't tell you much about it, um, but we might do a true few tricks with it um, and then we will give a tutorial of Chase if we hit, I think we're aiming for 100 subscribers. So if we hit 100, we will tell you all about the Chase order card trick. It is amazing. I can tell you by far our best trick. Um, definitely our favorite and most practiced as well. And the best reactions. So you guys are going to love Chase. Uh, get these Monarch cards to practice with. And we'll deliver Chase tutorial soon. Alright, see you guys. Like and subscribe as always. Bye.